so guys let's look at what is init containers and kubernetes so init containers is similar to the init system of linux but this is for your application pods if you want for you if you want to do some configuration setup for your application to run you can define that kind of tasks in init containers so it's also called a sequential pod initialization they can perform initialization of shared volumes or configuration as i said before it delays startup of your application container until all the init containers uh, run successfully so yeah you can also do things like register your pod with components of system and things like that this is in alpha state in kubernetes 1.3 as of now so let's see what init containers has to offer in a demo so i have a demo script that i'll run so let's create a namespace called as demo so that uh, it will keep everything separated uh, so this is the configuration file i'm using <coughs> Uh, so basically in a pod I have defined everything this uh, this is a pod configuration and in annotations I'm defining this as a key this is the key that you have to use since this is alpha it has there is no root level object as of now but uh, for create for defining init containers you have to define it in annotation of pod definition so so yeah this is the it is init containers are similar to any other containers all you have to do is define it it's somewhere else uh, here i'm downloading this image from github and doing git clone from mdn which is mozilla developer network a normal big, uh, getting started website that's what i'll be uh, git cloning into a into a volume mount warlib data and that warlib data this this volume is again mounted into the application pod the application is a centos httpd uh, and it gets mounted in war <coughs> www slash html and so yeah so basically init container clones from github and puts that data into the shared volume and the shared volume is mounted in the uh, httpd containers uh, war html folder so let's see so pod init is created so yeah it's not ready yet maybe init containers are running so here you can see that uh, this git uh, git image was pulled the, the the docker image that has git installed and it was pulled its container was created it did its job then http centers httpd was pulled and uh, after pulling is being done this container is running so let's see so yeah just to confirm that it it uh, everything has gone well will uh, will will create will expose that pod so as uh, so as to create a service and check if it's reachable so yeah the service that we created recently has been has been there this is the ip and here i'm starting another container so just so that we can confirm whatever we did works so let me do a curl on that so yes you can see at the mozilla container has been put and everything everything that init container has done is there so So yeah, we can we can see the init container somewhere. So we saw the init container before as well. Uh, if you want to see, we can see it here. This this is the init container. We can see what it did using by going into the node Docker logs. okay so seems like we didn't search no not to oops 
so maybe that container was garbage collected but yeah so let's see what what ui in dashboard what do we see let's refresh this thing so dashboards dashboard shows this board is running and this is the memory it has consumed and it's also it's also serving you can see that so yeah you can read about init containers more in detail on the kubernetes documentation website kubernetes documentation website called as kubernetes.io slash talks so thanks for watching that's about it